talk about for Atlanta coming back here, uh, six yeah. feet away, but, you know, you go four wide right there, push the bottom. Tell me what's going to go in through your head there. You, you're like the fifth person to ask me that so far. And, must have looked as cool as it felt. And you don't get runs like that too often and be able to take them and, and do something with them. But it's pretty confident I was going to get clear before the corner and stay above the double, uh, double white line. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. The car was fast enough to stay out front. And, um, just really proud of the effort. Fun to lead laps on the stage. Um, real shame. Um, Ryan was in a really tough spot there at the end of the race to try and hold, hold those runs off. And um, yeah, I wish I was there to maybe help him out a little better. How much fun was it out there tonight? It's fun leading. I'm sure it's not fun, you know, it's it's pretty difficult to drive these cars in traffic here when the cars aren't, aren't driving correctly. There's a lot more managing the car than I feel like it looks like on, on television uh, as far as the kind of when you left, what lanes to choose. The track changed a lot tonight as far as what lanes were working, what, what wasn't, so you had to be super adaptable. Um, but all in all, uh, it was, uh, yeah, fun for my season. Did you tell who wanted the line? Uh, I, Pretty sure the guy wanted to win did not win. What happened when you went backwards? You got to cover down. Yeah, I was in a really tight arrow spot. I was being pushed up under the 12, and then I had the eight really close to my door. I don't even. I think I might have even could have gone down a little bit further, but either way, I had like no air on my car and uh, just trying to keep, keep as much throttle to keep close to Ryan because the 99 just went his right rear. So I'm like, okay, we gotta make sure that we can stay. You know, ahead here. Um, yeah, just lost, lost the nose of the car, just a four-wheel slide. A lot of involvement in a wreck, but um, yeah, definitely took out of contention with the front two rows. I wish I had that one back. What was the moment in that last stage where you and your teammates were inside the top five and they got collected in some trouble? What was kind of the message for them to hang out, kind of hang in that top five throughout the rest of the race? No, that's my job. I wouldn't say there was much message needed. <laughs> Yeah, go, go out there and run as hard as you can. From the driver's seat, what was the most different about this race compared to other Atlanta races with this configuration? Uh, not a lot, to be honest. I mean, yeah. last year we had a one race at, at 40 degrees and one race at 80 degrees, and this one was at 60, and I felt like you had a little bit of both for this race. So, um, kind of met my expectations to some extent, but the um, track definitely changed a lot, and you kind of had to adapt to which lanes were going to be most powerful and you know where to, where to position your car and you know where to where to make sure your car is strong and your thoughts on the configuration after a race like this it's fun for me <laughs>